Hello and welcome. What I'd like to do in this segment is to uh, look at how to subnet. And the, the problem here is defined down here. Divide divide 147.60.0.0 into 100 subnets. The first thing that we need to know about this is what class of network is 147. And 147 is a class B. 1 to 127, 127 being the reserved address for A's, 128 through 191 for B's, 192 through 223's for C's, and those are the ones that we are worried about because those are the routable networks that we would actually be subnetting and be using to assign host addresses. So when we look at this thing, we write it in binary, I've already written it in binary, and then we put the class full subnet mask in so that we know how much of it is class full network and how much of it is subnet network. So we want to divide it into a hundred subnets. Using our 2 to the n, where n is the number of bits, minus 2, it's got to be greater than or equal to the number of subnets that we need. If we have 1 bit, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. We can't get to exactly 100, so 128 is the smallest number of subnets that we can create and still have enough to make them useful. When we do this, What's our new subnet mask? When we uh, look over here, our new subnet mask is now going to be 254. How many subnets did we create? We created 128 subnets. How many usable subnets? The usable subnets are the total number of subnets minus 2, so it's going to be 126 total subnets. How many hosts we have? Uh, in this thing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bits for hosts. So, to the ninth, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 5, 12 total hosts, 5, 1, 2 total hosts, and when we would have 510 usable hosts. A process that's very close re closely related to subnetting is supernetting. In subnetting, we took a larger network and created more networks with fewer hosts. What we do with supernetting is create fewer networks with more hosts. So we, instead of moving the subnet mask to the right, we move the subnet mask to the left. What I'd like to try to demonstrate here is how that would look. If we take these addresses here, what can what can we do with them and see with them? Let's write in binary the two, three, four, five, six, and seven networks. So the two, three, and four we jump over one, five, six, and then the seven. What we can do now is move our subnet mask to the left. If we do that, we have a couple of machines that are on the same network right here. The uh, These two, because we have the same bits in the network portion, these two addresses right here, the two and the three, would be on the same network. So what we would have done is combine two Class C networks into a network that has 512 total hosts, 2 to the uh, ninth minus 2, 510 usable hosts. And then we have another one down here that have the same network bits, the 1 and the 0 on these two, the 4 and the 5. The 6 and the 7 have the same network bits, 1, 1. So we've created in this case, one, two, three much larger networks. If I wanted to create an even larger network, I could go one more to the left. And in this case, I don't have anything that has all zeros in the host bits, so I don't really 
have a network address when we start with the one zero. The one these two machines have the same I want to do that, have the same network address. These four down here have the same network address, which is zero 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 one. The host bits are different, but in this case we do have an address that have has all zeros in the host bit. So our network address in this case would be 192.168.4.0 by definition all zeros in the host bits. Down here we also have a network that can have all ones in the host bits. The 7 address 1 1 and then we've put all the ones in here so the broadcast address would be 192.168.7.0 255. What we've done is combined smaller networks into one larger network. Not necessarily probably all that useful in a, a local area network, but where it would be useful is if you were routing and you wanted to combine the networks instead of having, in this case, for these addresses, four entries in your route table, we could by simply manipulating the subnet mask have a single entry in the uh, in the route table that allows us to send the 192.168.456 and 7 addresses collectively to a single location by using the 255.255.252 subnet mask. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful.